Good morning, folks. Today we've got amazing articles and accompanying video on the Van Allen belts and an ancient deep space mystery. We're also seeing every big earthquake factor come into play, so let's not waste time and get over to the sun at spaceweathernews.com. Last 24 hours look like the night before Christmas. Very quiet, and that's unlikely to change today. But we do have concerns afoot, so let's come back a few days ago to the central thin coronal hole that faced Earth to start this week. It was so thin, we wondered about its solar wind or quake-making potential. Well, the solar wind finally arrived, and while it does look like a mountain in purple on the right, it didn't even sniff 500 kilometers per second, and so we haven't even seen geomagnetic instability. Of course, quakes have been lackluster too. 11 days without a magnitude 6 significant event, and we average 3 per week here on Earth. But alas, the Pirate P coronal hole will be facing Earth starting tonight. Black and yellow, black and yellow. And that combines with the CME set to reach 1 AU in the next day when that comet tracked in. And also with some planetary geometry. Planets get even more interesting soon, but for now we've got watches on all fronts for the next two days. Magnitude 7 chances are on the rise now again as well. Top stories. Okay, well, new Electric Universe proponents will have to ignore the dark matter bits and focus on explaining the observations. The galactic rotation conundrum is one thing, how the spiral arms stay in form when gravity says they shouldn't. But now, let's add in the peculiar observation that older galaxies are slower. The left is a modern galaxy, and if it looks like it should spin out of control or the spiral arm shouldn't stay there over time, you're right. They say it's dark matter, but... Resonance and the electromagnetokinetic effect work just as well. That's the organization and translocation effect of current on electrically neutral material. But what do you do about the one on the right? We'll talk about it later. We're moving on. Up next, folks, a fantastic study has given a genuine explanation for the primary sun and storms video on earthchanges.org. For reasons we only half understood, as the Earth's magnetic field weakens, the storms are becoming more reactive to solar activity but never had it happened like in the months after the June 2015 Level 4 storms. Well, the reason why it seems like for a year any solar activity or solar wind perturbations brought record storm activity is because the temporal coincidence was unquestionable. But was it truly just coincidence? Here they describe how extra energy was injected and remained trapped in the inner belts, which means any subsequent compression of the field for months forced extra electrons and ions down through the atmosphere to create and juice up the clouds. Now, the relationship seems less robust the last few months, and that inner ring event is over. Next big solar storm could prove this science, and the months that follow it could prove this entire hypothesis. Quickly peeking in on the atmosphere, this is what the polar vortices looked like to start the month just 15 days ago, but watch the bottom. We've gone from a sparse beginning of the seasonal shift to a raging torrent. Soon it will eclipse the north in power, begin tighter rotation, and the north will break down to silence once more. Top weather events continue to include the U.S., but this time it was in Idaho, where the winter storm's beginnings proved too much for that hillside to hold. We are also jumping to India because it's that time again. Newly droughted areas in Sri Lanka where they don't expect it. Strong hail, strong lightning, and on a pathway to the north that is less used to seeing such events. One worries about another summer of India lightning deaths, to be honest. I mentioned Earth changes today with the weather effects from the sun. That video you'll want to watch is on the bottom left of that web page. Right here, right now, we've got your pressure and radar forecast and shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.